Hi, friends. Hello, everyone. We're glad you're here. I'm Dr. Jan Birkins. And I'm Carrie Yates, and we're the authors of Shifting the Balance, Six Ways to Bring the Science of Reading into the Balanced Literacy Classroom. That's us. And you may be hearing this term, um, the science of reading, thrown around a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and and maybe what it means. Yeah. yeah. And maybe the conversations about the science of reading, maybe you've noticed they can be a little bit triggering for people, can kind of get a little heated. Yeah, a little heated. I mean, we experience that sometimes. And I think even in thinking about making this video, that's what, what makes it feel a little bit vulnerable. Um, but we did after all also push ourselves to write a book with that term in the title. And we so we did. thought it was important to make this video and kind of share with you how we think about that term ourselves. And of course, there are formal definitions out there. In fact, there is a site that has a really nice definition um, that is linked in the description below this video. But our own definition is a really simple one. There's, It's just not that complicated. We like to keep things simple. And I think in a nutshell, we think of literacy instruction that is aligned to the science of reading as instruction that is truly brain friendly. Yes, it's just that simple. And, and it's brain friendly because it's aligned to what we know about how the human brain learns to read from mm -hmm. the inside out. Mm -hmm. And if I'm honest about some of my own vulnerability, I, I have to you know recognize that I really didn't know much at all about how the brain the reading brain works from the inside out until the last few years when we've really dug into this. I, mm -hmm. I didn't have a clear understanding of how a reading brain really needs to get wired. Mm -hmm. And so that's something I've really appreciated about this journey into the science. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it can feel really vulnerable, partially because there's just this sense that there's so much out yes. there to learn. It yeah. can feel a little <laughs> overwhelming or enormous and yeah. um, you can't be an expert on every bit of it. Um, right. But the, the magnitude of what we know about how the brain learns to read is great news for kids, um, especially those for whom our current practices just aren't doing enough. Yeah. And so I think bottom line is we want to just embrace whatever we can learn from science that will make learning to read easier rather than harder for children. Yeah. And, you know, um, even though we put the science of reading in the subtitle of our book, you know, we could have come up with synonymous subtitles, you know, subtitles <laughs> that really got at the same idea, yeah. but didn't have that triggering terminology in it. it yeah. You know, yeah. Carrie, as a matter of fact, we could, we could do that now. <laughs> we could think of one. We could, we could do this. <laughs> Does Terry know we're making this video? <laughs> no, no. I, Terry's our editor. Yeah. Let's um, do it. I'll start. I'll start. Okay. So let me think. A new so, subtitle. Um, what? Different, different subtitle. Different subtitle. Shifting the balance. Six ways to make your early literacy instruction more brain friendly. Oh yeah, I love that. That works. Um, how about shifting the balance? Six ways to make learning to read easier, not harder for children. Yeah, that might be the winner. That one really. I like that one. Is clear and simple. That's yeah. what it's about. It's a good brain game. It is a good brain game. Um, Six ways to bring more science aligned early literacy practices to life in the classroom. That one might right. be a little bit wordy. Might be a little wordy. Maybe some of our friends want to help us. Um, I think the important thing is to just know that there are lots of ways of communicating the same idea. And we do embrace the science of reading as an important way to make learning to read easier rather than harder for children. Yes. And yes. so I think that's it for today. Yes. If you want to learn more about brain friendly instruction, we you have an open invitation to visit our site, the six shifts.com and explore the the thinking and the goodies that we've left for you there. All Take right. Take care, friends. Bye, everybody. Bye. Happy learning.